Felipe Archuleta created this giraffe in December of 1973. The sculpture was one of his first large-scale exotic animals and serves as a vital piece to our cultural history. However, the wear and tear of the years has put the giraffe in jeopardy. A campaign is now underway to preserve the work for generations to come. We are here with Andrew John Cecil, who is the curator of Wooden Menageries here at the Museum of International Folk Art. And uh, specifically, we're talking about one of the featured artists in it, Felipe Archuleta, and one of his large-scale works, The Giraffe. So before we get into the work itself, tell us about the artist, Felipe Archuleta. Well, Felipe Archuleta was just an amazing, amazing sculptor. And he actually started work rather late in life. He was in his mid-50s when he started creating oh, wow. wood carvings. And uh, by the time that he passed away in 1991, he was literally lionized by not only the contemporary folk art world, but also the contemporary art world. He had a lot of influence. And his work was shown all across the nation, New York, Los Angeles, and of course, New Mexico, mm -hmm. but also around the world, Paris, Tokyo. And he is, actually has many of his pieces in very important collections, both public and private. Okay. Before he got into this, he had sort of a shift in, in his creative work. He was doing local fauna, and then all of a sudden he started creating exotic animals. Why was that? Well, you know, that's a really good question, Chad, because what happened during the 20th century was all of a sudden our world became so much smaller. Mm -hmm. And it was through media, through actually like National Geographic, uh, the family told stories about sitting down on Sunday afternoon and watching Mutual of Omaha's mm -hmm. Wild Kingdom. Okay. You know, so all of a sudden uh, the world, the contemporary world became very small. And so there were all of these influences as far as seeing work from Africa, seeing animals from South America. But also the family would take trips to the Rio Grande Zoo. Mm -hmm. And we have some wonderful photographs of uh, a trip in 1970, mm -hmm. and Felipe took pictures of a giraffe, took pictures of a seal, took pictures of a leopard, and of a baby elephant. And okay. it's just really wonderful because within a couple of years, he actually produced those objects at his studio in Tsuke. So specifically with the giraffe, of course, uh, giraffes being one of the really large-scale exotics, right. uh, over the years it has definitely suffered some wear and tear. So you guys now have a campaign to preserve it. Yes. Is that right? Okay, let's talk about that campaign. Well, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really wonderful what's happening right now and the support that we're receiving not only from our museum foundation but from our community. And we're, our campaign is literally going to be a national campaign. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're looking at doing with the monies generated is uh, put together an eminent team of conservators and also consulting with the Archuleta family in order to restore this amazing American folk art treasure. Why is this piece in particular so important to preserve? The Archuleta giraffe is really a part of New Mexico's 20th century cultural patrimony. It is so important. It is so important not only for the period of time that it represents in the state's cultural history, but also how it connects to the larger picture in the United States and also around the world. If you want to stick your neck out for the giraffe, head over to casa.com for links to their Indiegogo campaign.